Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I wanted to touch base with you today because I've been getting a lot of downloads that I wanted to share with you, um, including a read I did for myself this morning, which I just kept getting a slew of messages for. Um, starting back on, um, on the 20th, At, uh, and this was actually after midnight, the morning of the 20th, at 12.21 a.m., my mail was 2222. And then the first thing I got that morning was the quickening. Um, I was also getting double eights that day. It's time. It's a new day. The Trinity was coming up, so threes and then uh, karmic completion. So that was the start of it on the 20th. And so the threes were coming up. I had gotten three nights in a read, and then a lot of people were talking about three nights. And that was starting on the 20th. On the 21st, I was getting death be not proud. So don't be too proud to admit your feelings that the Queen of Hearts leads the way and to adore the cup that stands before you and keep an open mind. On the 21st, the number was actually 33 that day and that's the number of the Christ vibration. So uh, definitely in the Christ energy on the 21st and her death be not proud again And then something that came up again that had come up for me on the 19th was um, I kept seeing the King of Wands in my reads. And the, the deck that he was coming up in is always like a profile view of him. And he was always just like staring down the Divine Masculine or just watching. And I, I could never kind of pin who that was as far as, as people. So I asked and on the 19th, my specific answer was Metatron and Pallas Athena, because that day there were two kings. And Metatron is all about working on your um, stellar gateway chakra, okay? So working on your galactic connection, uh, which also came up when I was talking to Janet from Awakened Warrior S about uh, working on my galactic connection. Um, and then Pallas Athena is all about integrity and the sort of truth. So that came up again, that was the 19th, and then it came up again. The same two cards when I asked exactly came up on the 21st as well. That Metatron and Pallas Athena are watching over right now. And to work on your stellar gateway, chakra, and standing in your truth and your integrity. And also the past three days, I've been getting a lot of jittery energy from the Divine Masculine. Then on the 22nd, I was getting 6-6 six, six and 10-10. Ten, ten. My sand art that morning, I'd written a message to a friend, the curtain raises as the masters convene at a secret location to disclose the hearts of twins, or to, to disclose to the hearts of twins, waiting for union and separation. And that expanded when um, I joined realignment for their Zoom meeting that day. So everything that came up that day was in alignment with that message that um, there was a, a gate that opened that we were all trying to push through, that all the masters were convening about it. I saw spaceships as well, lifting the veil. And then uh, some other things that came up on the 22nd, uh, and also at the meeting came up the three nights, which started the 20th. Um, and that the, uh, the Divine Masculine's karmic is in the light body of the Divine Feminine. And that the Divine Masculine coming out with their truth in public would basically trigger the lowering of the karmic frequency 
and the raising of the divine feminine frequency, therefore allowing the disconnection of the karmic from the divine feminine's light body, which would come up again for me in my read this morning. So also on the 22nd, um, I was joking with a friend about um, the magician, the C-I-A-N, the magician and the musician and the physicians. And uh, when I looked up Shin, C-I-A-N, which is actually pronounced uh, Kion, it means ancient. I got um, build it and they will come from the Divine Masculine. I can't get no satisfaction, that was yesterday. And I take no prisoners, also from the Divine Masculine yesterday. And then also when I was jogging yesterday, one tear dropped from my right eye for no reason. It wasn't like my eyes were watering up or anything. All of a sudden, just a tear rolled down my cheek from my right eye, and that was at 448, which is my life lesson number, 44. Eight. So that was significant to me. Um, and also a lot lately when I'm journaling, um, God's been changing my words. For example, if I'm, I was writing down uh, scrambling and it was changed to scrabbling, but this is happening all the time where God's just slightly changing what I'm writing as I'm writing. I also got a message yesterday that dark roots or the dark were bringing up jealous jealousy and sexual things to snuff out the new growth of seedling that actually Janet was talking about in her Awakened Warrior Warriors video yesterday about the uh, divine masculine being a new seedling and I was getting that uh, the dark were trying to bring in jealousy and sexual things to to snuff out this new growth. So to be careful about um, about jealousy and also if you feel your divine masculine not feeding into that because that would be the dark energies trying to to lower your frequency and your vibration. Um, then I watched last night the movie The Proof which was all about faith because they were talking about this mathematical proof um, so how, how to prove that the the girl who wrote the proof that she had written it and not her father because their handwriting looked the same but it really didn't matter because it was just about having faith and spirits connecting with me and after that there was a an advertisement for a new show called Here and Now on HBO, I think it was. It starts February 11th, and it was all about ascension and twin flame things. It was about staying present and people feeling like they're losing their mind and they're crazy, so it sounded very interesting. Um, and then right at midnight last night, I got It's a New Dawn, It's a New Day. I actually started singing that. It's a new life for me, and there was a connection there. And also is time. There's a time for us. And then that brought up the West Side Story song. There's a time for us. Or a place somewhere. And then I had watched a Monster Calls. And in a Monster Calls, it's all about a little boy and his mother and she's dying of cancer. And it's about his, his inner monster. <laughs> And um, every, every night at 12.07, there's a wake up. And last night at 12.07, I got was the wake up. January 23rd, 2018 at 12.07, the wake up. And in this movie, The Monster Calls, um, it's all about 
this uh, this tree, a healing tree that becomes a monster, and it helps the little boy get through what he's going through as his mother's dying. And then, as I and it's interesting too about the cha the word change. As I wrote down monster, it was changed to mobster. And then with what I got this morning. It was like monster equals the tower, which equals the mobster, which equals the healing tree, which equals the antidote, which is a remedy for counteracting poison. Poised sun and disease, dis-ease. And that doting is extremely and uncritically fond of or being silly or feeble-minded. So we're talking about an antidote because when you do the act of doting on someone, the, the wound is the opposite of that, which can be hatred or too much, too much of the mind and being critical. And that's the wound that's coming out that needs to be released. And in the movie, His, his inner monster ends up being that, you know, he was wishing for it to end. As much as he, he was terrified of losing his mother, he was wishing for it to end because of the pain. And that the monster was there to help him purge. Then this morning, and I'll get more into that because it came up in my read this morning. This morning I got the gathering of the three wise men in secret. And then I started my read and a friend texted me, which ended up um, expanding on what I was getting. So after the monster calls, I did cry a bit. It was that the detachment of the son from his mother, which was very saddening to me. And then of course it brought up my own abandonment feelings. Um, and I felt like I needed to go to sleep in silence as opposed to a, a meditation that I usually do. And when I got up this morning, it was raining. And I felt that way since I'd cried last night. And right away in the cards, I got that it was judgment day, the secret gathering of the three wise men from my sand art and the nine came up, the nine hanging men, which I paralleled to um, um, I'm just blanking out on her name. The, uh, the nine, she channels the nine. It'll come up for me in a minute, but um, that um, a lot of femin feminine energy was coming up um, because uh, there may be issues with the masculines not financially having as much power as the feminine. So of course this brings up all of these matriarchal wounds to clear. You know, what would intimidate the masculine? And then the Empress Reverse comes up which actually is an unraveling in a public forum, okay? Because she, she loses face in public, the Empress, when she's reversed. It's the light and the truth. When she loses her control, where the public is rejoicing. And there's also information about the, uh, the Divine Mashlin coming out now with his truth. And uh, multiple friends have been having throat or lung things coming up recently, which is all about speaking their truth. 
needing it to come up and speak your truth. So again this morning, when I did my cards, I was getting the quickening again. The quickening to the unraveling. That fires are like sage. That it's a quick clearing. And that the tower is, I was getting one who toes. Also two ER, which is all about emergency, emergency clearing. And then also got my toes, okay? Because that was a, uh, a guide of mine from my 20s when I first was trying to connect in meditation. I got my guide of my toes from my toes. And tower or tower is someone who plays with toes. So if any of those things resonate with you, please comment. Um, so then I was texting with, with my friend and she had brought up uh, the need to clear crystals. Um, to make sure to, you know, to clean your crystals if they've been used a lot, to clear out the negative energy, um, which came up for me because I'd cleared off my piano to get it ready to sell it. And I had a lot of crystal frames on my piano, which are now sitting on my table where I do my cards. So it brought up for me needing to maybe to um, clear them as well. That may, that may have caused some of the negative energy feeding into my purge last night. So just a reminder to clear your crystals. Huh. So then the first thing I get in my read this morning was alchemy of the shadow, total eclipse of the heart, the eclipse, justice without words for the twins after the devil's been trying to cause issues with sexual enticements of twins meeting in secret. Okay, so it was about growth in the pouring out of emotions without options, pushing it out, the quickening. You know, the only kind of pushing that's allowed is getting out the purge. So there's all this devil or shadow sex stuff Manu to manufacture emotions of no options coming from the dark, but that backfires and causes a quickening of the unraveling. In other words, the tower is clearing very quickly, like fire. It might be more painful, but it's a quicker clearing. It was, and that's what brings up the uh, ER as well in the tower is that the masters are meeting because there's an emergency of needing to clear more quickly. Then true love came up. That's the romance of a lifetime. And uh, be careful of being deceptive in what you express about yourself because expressing just feelings of happiness can be deceptive and don't sit on your burdens share amongst your friends and others so back to when a monster calls and I was really getting the matriarch unraveled today all the matriarch matriarchal issues um, so the monster was the healing tree his mother had created for him to purge his wounds that he can't see. So he could find happiness after she was gone. So happiness, energy, power, and total illumination is, has come out about not having sex, not needing sex for true love, that sex does not equal true love that it's worth the wait. That judgment slows the wheel, that there may be car issues, 
and half of a heart was coming up. That the heart was open, but not enough. And that can also connect to the total eclipse of the heart. That at this point, only half of a heart is cleared, but by the eclipse, there will be a total eclipse of the heart. That more eclipse is needed right now, more light by the Divine Feminine. And challenged by the uh, ER of flames. So that's about, you know, emergency, being excitable, a child who thinks they know about how to do everything at home recovering after a heart was stolen and finding a way to do everything on your own in order to find happiness. But be careful because childish behaviors can cause fires. Open heart more to others completely. Use your magician embodiment, your inspiration to unravel the emperor a public rejoicing that the wicked queen is dead. That the new moon was like clearing, clearing the plate to a fresh start without the burdens. The matriarch is celebrated and her truths revealed. The secrets, the psychic and the sexy find peace. A new perspective in holding crystals because the masculine offers his crystal codes to his feminine. So um, this was also, this was bringing up all of the, the issues with the the history of the Divine Feminine, that she needs to be a sexual object. The secretiveness, and that, you know, psychically, that was an issue as well. You know, you'd be burned at the stake for being psychic. So all, these are all of the uh, Divine Feminine wounds that are coming up to be cleared. Soon the tower comes to burn away the debris that's the masters in emergency response mode. The death was too slow and the masters want us moving ahead, opening our hearts more. That it's worth waiting for, divine timing. We are in union. The queen of wands suffers in breaking her codependencies. She lets go from our light bodies. So we're to get past passions and the need for truth. That the representation of the King of Wands is, 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 is actually what keeps us in separation, that sexual connection. Because the sexual connection is not needed for union. We are in union. Also, um, to clear the need to be cool or the need to be more abundant in order to attract a man of status. The Divine Feminine needs to clear these things, the superficial things. Um, mother and daughter also came up, the mother and daughter issues unraveled the truth and the light of their disempowerment through sexuality and control and competition between women for looks and status. The healing comes in walking away from the need for attention, the need for acceptance by others, to focus your attention on you, your self-love and your self-acceptance. So I hope uh, these messages were helpful to you. Um, please comment below if you resonate with any of these. And, um, and know that we're in a, uh, today is the third day of a three day gate opening. 
and it's a very powerful time with the, the eclipse coming up to clear out as much as possible and stay in your heart and open your heart more to others know your power and your truth and speak your truth and speaking the truth was especially important for the divine masculine today um, the 23rd today's day is the uh, the king of wands so it's about the king of wands speaking his truth and 39, 35 which the day adds up to today is the nine of wands which is all about clearing our wounds so it's a big day to clear sexual wounds sexual mother and divine feminine in general wounds okay so have an amazing day you guys I'll try to get a card read for you um, soon but in the meantime take care and rise and be loved